last time on Lawful Stupid. And shall you arrive back at the menagerie uh, via the misfortune? Ta, oh, welcome back. I see you found him. Yeah, we got him. We're still going to attack the prison, right? Oh, yes, very soon. How long do we have? Uh, till tomorrow, by my count. Oh! You might not survive beyond tomorrow, so if there's anybody you needed to talk to or anything you needed to do, settle, now would be the time. Uh, you are touring the streets of the menagerie after your hard work, and you see Jasper. And he beckons for you to join. You're going to be testing. You have a new mission. There's a target inside this prison. Humor me. Name's Delmore. D- you mean the, the f- former friend of Oslo and, and Captain yeah, Perry. And... Perry and too dangerous to live. And the job is no more Delmore. Could you take these schematics and get them to the Alliance? Absolutely. Good luck. You set sail. It's a unique, a, a, an unique experience. Is it a unique or an unique? Whatever sounds uh, right. It would, it would be a unique. Mm-hmm. It should be an though, because it's a vowel. Anyway. Nope. It's a. It's the vowel sound, not the actual vowel. Oh. I looked it up recently, actually. Oh. It's a unique experience. Welcome to Linguistics with Lawful Stupid. It's a unique experience in the sense that you're on a ship filled to the brim with sailors. There's a hustle and bustle. There's a liveliness that you haven't really experienced before. Because <laughs> they're not ghosts this time. <laughs> <laughs> And you are on your way to Tangier. Perfect. And I know that this is going to take multiple days to get there, yeah? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, so I need to do some sending. By all means. Perfect. Uh, I need to... We're going to Tangier, right? Correct. All right, cool. I'm going to link up with uh, the Ram, and I need to say... uh, um, Apparently, this is my thing now. I'm going to keep doing it. Ram. (laughs) I know you will have a guy on the inside. We also need to know the best way to sneak in. Which door? We'll discuss it on the ride. I have maps. Maps. Cool. Uh, all right. Um, good beans, good beans, good beans. And then I need to send a message uh, to Captain Perry. Um, I guess not Captain Perry anymore, just to Perry. She might be a captain sure. somewhere. Who knows? Well, I, I'm not going to judge it. She doesn't need to respond, to be clear. No. I just need to send it. She might respond. Um, okay. Cool, 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 cool. You've reached Perry. Please leave a message. Um, <laughs> Captain, we are headed to the prison to break free the thing. We have coordinated efforts and should succeed soon. I miss you. Oh, stay safe. I had two more words. Stay safe. Calm seas, full sails. I wish you well. Cool. I'm good. Captain notified, confirmed that I would talk about the information I'm breaking in. Garrett's ready to roll. Anybody else having business before Tangier? I want to try uh, Yakubo one more time. Message. Okay. I don't know if you're getting these. I don't know if you're okay. Respond if you are. No response. Lana? Anything else? I think... 
uh, I don't know if I necessarily, I don't really want to necessarily do anything, but I think I want to touch on just probably the, uh, the chaos of a ship run by Oslo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not that people aren't necessarily doing what they're, what they're not supposed to or anything, but like, I think that the three, uh, new buddies that we've gotten. Mm -hmm. The three new kobolds are now up in her nest, which she had we been. About that, she's yeah. also like moved. Yeah, she she moved her stuff. Like, we're not moved her stuff, but like she's like staying downstairs. But like, there's almost a constant like chatter up there of like just sh shit being thrown down. Maybe actual shit. Who knows? Um, and like fighting with birds and stuff like that. And also, it's just like perched on the wheel. What did I name them? Uh, I wrote it down. Oh, it was something pop. adorable. Something, something in trickle. It was yeah. rip, slip, and trickle. Rip, slip, and trickle. Rip, slip, and trickle. Rip, slip, and trickle. Uh, but also, uh, just noting that we do have Taru now, I assume, making very good meals. And uh, Ripple, who is kind of on the, um, the uh, like, sales and directional control with magic. That's it. It's great boom. Indeed. We got guests. Uh, Guests. Well, crewmen. Nah, yeah. Crew. Yeah. Uh, I'm their boss. Well. I'm the boss. I got the hat. No, I'm their boss, not the boss. Oh. I'm an officer. Oh. All under me. Fair. Some of them are officers and also. Oh. Huh. I'm not their boss then. Anyway. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> So you guys make it to Tangia. Uh, it's it's a real quick in and out uh, kind of operation. You guys don't want to be in Alliance uh, territory for too long. Uh, you are joined by a, a, a very small vessel um, that is uh, host to a number of individuals. Uh, there are about 30, there's exactly 28 uh, alchemists uh, and there is uh, Ramel of Bastia, and there is that's it. It's all the people. Cool. I I correctly. Just as a point of order, I feel like when we do get into the point of uh, Tangia, I don't know why that I forgot it was Tangia. Tangia. Um, I think Oslo kind of like takes the hat and pits it on Barney and has him go, like, do the docking stuff. <laughs> if oh, only sure. because a kobold is kind of a obvious thing. Uh, I, I don't think you guys even, like, dock. Oh, you don't actually. think we dock? I think you probably just, I think you probably just like, yeah, come up to the coast, slow down, and, down and they meet you at the open mm -hmm. sea. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Over here! Over here! Yeah, I agree and with that. Convoy! <laughs> Ramel puts uh, a knife in his teeth and hops off the side of the boat and then like swims <laughs> over and climbs up your boat. <laughs> Real pirate shit. All right. Who's Welcome in charge to of this It's me! Good. I got the hat. Yep. Yeah, that's how we're deciding things now. Okay, good. Um, good to see you again, boss. It's good to see you too. Questions for you later. Um, so, what's the plan? Yeah, a uh, real quick and easy plan there, boss. Um, distractions shall be caused. Um, maybe a frontal assault, some skirmishes. We're going to go in real sneaky like, and you've got a guy on the inside. He's going to help us get in. You also, have, you're going to tell us where we need to go. We're going to Scooby-Doo sneak our way through, um, and then we're going to uh, complete the mission. All right, so, and he reaches into his shirt and he pulls out a, uh, and, and unrolls a map um, uh, of this, this small prison island. Uh, there is a large building with, you know, four walls surrounding it. Um, it is, it, 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 it's very Alcatraz-esque, where it's, it is just, that is what this island is. It is a prison island. Yep. Um, so there is open beach all around. You can approach from whatever direction that you want. Uh, and he kind of starts going through like um, what his intelligence system covers. So you know that there are stationed there approximately 200 guards. Easy. 
Uh, Go on. Shabby. It's approximately 200 guards. They have uh, allied support um, that is, is, is very easy to get through them and happens if in the in case of a riot, it's something they drill pretty consistently. Um, but you do have uh, distractions being launched uh, all across Alliance territory uh, by Adalbert and his and his forces uh, of, of the resistance, uh, the last sons and daughters of Tangia, uh, Tangia Rombius. Uh, and uh, you are banking on that, that no outside force is going to be able to come in here. So he points to you that there is a, a, a northern and southern exit, or entrance and exit gate, essentially. Um, the southern one is mostly used for uh, supplies. It's, it's where their, their main dock is. Uh, the north one is, is kind of their auxiliary because they don't want to have just one way in and out um, in case they're like a fire or something. Uh, he talks to you about uh, how their their man on the inside uh, he's he's got comms with him, so he can either get you in the north or the southern exit. Um, he recommends the uh, northern because there's less traffic. Oslo is writing all this down in a book. Perfect. And draconic, but yes. Sure. Do we have to do any climbing of sorts? That seems we won't just walk through a gate. We'll have to probably do some Or sneak through a gate. He, he's going to open the gate for you. And he'll be the only guard that's there. At we the can, time, I guess. We can it. hope. That's the We should be... Mm. As far as counterintelligence, they don't know we're coming. I've taken great lengths to ensure they do not know where to come. We have the element of surprise. They're going to wake up thinking that this is just an ordinary day for them. Do we have any of their uniforms that we could use? I mean, at least that would help us not be so obvious if we tried to get in. I, I didn't bring any. No. We probably would have had to ask for that earlier. But you got magic. It's okay, right? Well, we could just knock one out and you'd just take his clothes. Uh, so, did, it was my understanding that we are not... This is not a, a stealth operation. This is a siege, correct? It's both. There's a siege on one it's, side, yes. and we're sneaking in the back. Or Diversion north. Diversion is the word, yes. We're, we're yes. Sp- it, it is a siege for everyone but us. Are we are the small tactical group. The alchemist will cause a big distraction or siege at the front entrance, and we will use that opportunity to uh, sneak in the rear well, here, in here, a dinghy, most likely. Here's my suggestion. I've, oh, please. I've done these kind of operations more than once, so the smaller vessel there that I brought, that's going to be our landing craft, effectively. That's, that's the boat we don't expect to come back from this. So take me, the alchemists, any fighters you have amongst your crew, and we're going to take that sucker, and we're going to put it right by the southern beach. Meanwhile, Barnabas, in command of your two other ships, is going to launch effectively a um, a bombardment. He'll keep these cannons ringing out here, circling the island, and, and really bring down the steel. Are we sneaking in the southern or are we sneaking in the north? We're sneaking in the north. Meanwhile, you guys take a oh. dinghy ahead of time. Ah. Very discreetly row, row to the southern entrance, head in that way. That's how I do it. It's funny we're on the same page. Literally, that's why I message so many people. Yeah, that's... um. I could take down the gate with the best of them, so I'll probably meet you in the middle somewhere. But, uh, yeah, that, that should... No, uh, it's, there might be some other things you want to consider, but that's my, my once over the moon. We've, we've got the infill sort of worked out. Hmm. What about the exfill? We, we're after, remind me, a person? Yes. That's and my the details on to, the person. Yeah, we need to bring back um, the the scholar. 
Yeah. Uh, forget his name. Uh, let me go. Uh, Adrian. I was always gonna flip through some pages Star. super quick. Give me just a moment. The old world. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. So once we bring back Adrian Note, um, we'll be able to. Yeah, um, I knew it was a paper pun. Yes, um, that's our primary objective. Um, once everything starts, I, th I think uh, our once we sneak in, our objective should effectively be to cause somewhat of a prison riot. Um, because if there's a siege outside, you're charging into the front. The more disruptions we can cause to keep all of the guards busy, the better. So as we go through blocks, if we can get them open, that would be ideal. Well, that's the X factor there. That we haven't really been able to prepare for is that this prison is full of some of the most dangerous individuals to roam the Seven Seas. Some of them True. will just, you know, they'll be on our side, right? Some of them are, are heroes. Some of them are folks from the resistance who were captured. Some of them are just bastards. Who's going to kill anyone they see, right? Right. Well, maybe, right? Think about it this way. Um, you're going to kill the person who lets you out of the cell or you're going to attack your guards. Yeah, we're going to get a couple of the super crazy people who just don't care, want on violence, but most of them are going to want to get revenge on the guards. Mm. Well, they're also going to want to get off this island. Yeah, no, no, that's also cool. But the alliance is going to have boats there. No, Just, they can take their boats. They don't. So there's no boats there. No, they they're worried about escape. They don't keep boats. They're supplied from larger islands. What? That's a whole other tactical we, thing I won't even go into. If we find any prison lists, I think we should take them, because then that might tell us like who's good to open up and who's we need, who we need to leave in there. So if we see any... I don't think we'll have time for all we'll, that. I think we'll be quick snatch and grab and get out. Oh, I was planning on... I, don't care I also don't prison. think was, they're going to have a, like a, a five-star rating system for who's the real bad true. boys and who's the not mm -hmm. bad boys. I was boys. planning on taking the any documents anyway just to fuck with them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yes. Agreed. We're also going to be filling those walls full of holes. So there's a good chance that folks are going to get out. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. It's fine. Not worried about it, really. Do we do we know what's what floor they that they are keeping this 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 page on? No. My my guy doesn't have access to that level of intel. And what what is he? What is where will your man be so we don't attack him while we're inside? So he's at the gate. He's gonna open that gate for you, and then he's getting the fuck out of dodge. So he's gonna open that okay. gate, and he's gonna head to your dinghy. He's gonna wait there for your expo. Okay, we'll we'll leave him a sign that way he can hold and wait for us at so the dinghy. We might need to look for some kind of directory anyway, just to find out where Note is. She's going to yes. be one of, the, one of the... She's not going to be kept in general population. Yeah, for sure. Uh, solitary or, or high security, for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but um, mm -hmm. do you know where that is on this map, by chance? Well, my guy mainly works blocks A and D, and he points the east and west walls out to you. So that tells us that likely they're either going to be A, B... Or I'm sorry, C, B, or in the, a lower detention level. We know that there are underground facilities that my man has no access to. Ah. Uh, Shane, is it possible for me to make a, albeit cruder version, but at least a serviceable version um, for us to go off of? That way I don't take oh. his. Just you can put it in Oslo's notebook. Yeah, just absolutely. like make a yeah, copy. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. okay. I was, I, was, I was thinking if you were asking if you, Dwayne, could do that. Or if you're asking if Garrett would no, 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 no. be able to... If Garrett can make a copy so I can at least... Scribble it down. Like, yeah. direct is like, serviceable. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm just going to document that in my notes. I've already drawn a... Like you said, I'll be at crew, just kind of idea with, like, A is over here, D is over here, North Gate, South Gate kind of thing over here. Cool, 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 cool. All right, uh, uh, <clears throat> well, uh, 
I, I don't think I can think of anything else that we truly need to do. Um, anyone else have any thoughts? Ideas? Not really. Contingencies? Uh, I don't think this is going to go the way that we hoped is going. At least... Nothing ever does. In- infiltration might be perfect, but what if they... What if they're expecting us? We're so just I've, fighting our way in then? I've worked pretty hard on you, the counterintelligence. I don't think they have any idea that we're coming. Okay, I trust you. But how quickly do their response teams react? What are we looking at time-wise? Once the first cannon shot or the first alarm is blown. Well, like I said, they drill for this pretty constantly. Um, and they're, they're not defenseless. Up here. They've got cannons mounted on the walls. They've got their own security forces there. Um, they have all, you know, that high-tech alliance technology. Um, they're... The idea is the first cannon doesn't fire until you guys are already beached, I would think. So you guys get beached, you guys are heading your way to the gate. Meanwhile, we're beaching at the same time on the opposite end of the island. They're worried about us. Then the cannons start going. And then boom. So do we need to go under the cover of night? We'll need to... I would recommend it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, I like definitely it. Better. I like yeah. it. Um, my my biggest concern for failure is a couple of things. The first one being outside influences. If Adalbert's not able to cause enough of a ruckus out there and forces do get in, well, that's going to leave Barnabas here, two ships trying to distract the overwhelming forces you have on the inside and any an army and any naval fight he has to get into whether it be other allied forces navy or just some fucking bystander who wants to try to earn himself a title ram tell me these soldiers here are they it seems like it's a pretty important mission they are they, are they soldiers who stick to the book will fight to the death or are they just here because it was the assignment they have no way out. They they know that as soon as they get on this island. Like I said, they don't keep ships here. If things go south, they're not going to sail away and live to fight another day. They know that every day they, they're here to fight to the death. They're they're here to to hold this position. I figured if we could possibly sway the soldiers that are here, but it seems they won't be easily convinced or bribed. And the last question I would have, which seems to be very important, is. Who is in charge of, of this place? Who Who is their leader here? They have a warden, a guy named Dreyfus. He, um, he's got a reputation. He got this position by being one of the meanest sons of bitches to ever sail the Sapphire Seas on the Alliance side. He, he was known for wanton cruelty against indigenous people on islands that the Alliance held you know, and a, of, of great, uh, great importance or value. Is he still in great fighting shape today? I mean, is it... I figure if we take down the head, perhaps the body will, will fall apart or die as well. I don't think that... That's not our main mission. We need to grab the thing and get out. Con- if we run into him, then fuck yeah, let's kill the contingency. guy. Contingency. I, I suppose that this man is not going to let us take one of his top prisoners easily. No. I just want to know what I'm up against or what we're up against when inevitably he shows up. He... He's skilled. I wouldn't want to fight him one-on-one. That's saying a lot. Okay, so just avoid. Avoid. Got it. And if you do run into him, get out quick. Use whatever is around you. Uh, let the situation turn into an advantage for you. You're going to need everyone you can get. All right. I think I've got enough. Garrett? Oslo? 
Yeah. No, I'm good. This Let's should be go. great. Anything else before this operation kicks off? I feel like the answer should be yes, but I just... I think it's just, like, me just not ready to let go, right? Not ready to, like, fucking pull the trigger. <laughs> I know, mm-hmm. it's so scary right now. Uh, me as Devin is very wait, afraid. Barney's running the, the siege, um, the artillery mode, right? Yeah, so he so he's going to take, basically, command of the Hope um, while uh, Dipship, uh, which, which name I forget right now, Dipship, uh, Oh the, gosh. the misfortune. The misfortune. Yes. Is also going to be um, operating. Both of them striking with uh, with cannons. I can just see Saren just like yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so, gotcha. As you guys have have made this trip, you've just been noting more and more strange things cropping up on um, the the hole in the deck of the misfortune. Presumably, Saren has been <laughs> cranking out some new toys for the occasion. Weapons and stuff. Hell yeah. Um, All right. There, there's there's some folks that that uh, volunteer to go. Uh, they aren't necessary for for the sailing of the ship. That do volunteer to go as part of the boarding party, uh, including Rip Slip and Trickle. Um, <laughs> That's chaos. Let's are do all, it. Are all, chaos. Are all eager to uh, to to fuck some shit up. Yeah. Twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> And how long is the the voyage to the prison? Uh, it 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 will take one week from Tangier. Perfect. Just looking at my potions that I can possibly. Yeah, this this would be the time. Well, right, and so I'm looking because I have a potion in mind. Just the question is whether I actually am able to make it in that time frame. Yeah, what are you trying to trying to craft it, my guy? Uh, I was looking at, cause I'm just looking at basic stuff. I'm not, I'm not trying to go crazy, but potion of flying mm-hmm. is very rare. I don't know if I have enough money. I was looking in the book for the, the formula, um, based on a very rare potion, but I can't seem to find that portion of the book yet. Cause I know it's in the compendium. Yeah. Uh, potions the of Xanathar's guide. Super, I, my brain is telling me that it's somewhere upwards of like 800 ish gold. So if yeah, that's the thing. Thousand. If it's yeah, because I have a little bit in the resources, but and I get a discount, but I can't find the um, the piece. And I like it is what it is. If I can't, I, um, I would call it for you 400 gold with alchemy, alchemy supplies just going off the top of my head. Cool. Um, I think I have that much in alchemy supplies. Then, do you really after all the uh, healing potions you made? Because you had five hundred gold. That's what I. I, I need to check. Because I, but I, you're right. But I only had so much time to make them. I need to look at my. Because I think I might be just under four hundred, which is the problem. But I still have two hundred gold. You could, you could also um, try to stack up what you got with um, the alchemist. If you if you needed to to buy some stuff off of them, they'd probably hook you up. Yeah, um, yeah. No, I actually have a lot of. Uh, I still have four hundred gold because it only cost me twenty five um, per healing potion to make. I just thought you'd made a bunch of. Uh, not as many as you think, because remember the other ones I paid for them out of my own money. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, if you're if you'll let me make a potion of flying. Yeah. Um, over the course of a week, then I'm going to add one of those to my inventory. Absolutely can. Cool. I feel like that might be helpful. Might not come in handy at all, but... It's de- definitely not something you're going to regret having. Hmm. Agreed. All right. We hope. Well, I mean, I'm not going to regret having it. I, I am one fourth level spell slot away from me being safe. So... <laughs> all right. Cool. I will reduce those alchemy things to zero now. 
Boop. All right, I'm good. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to let's do this siege. Let's do this. <laughs> so now we're fucking never. You arrive. Having to slow yourself a bit prior to your arrival because you, you wanted to arrive in the dead of night. And as you guys get as close as you feel comfortable getting without raising any alarms, you guys set off on the dinghy. I'd like to also note that I have basically all black clothing. And if and if the other two wanted it, maybe they were doing that weak eye, so it like made you some all black clothing. But I imagine it would well, be valuable. I mean, Oslo's me. already got black clothing. Okay. Um, yeah. So does I think Oslo is, also has her um, goggles, but she doesn't need them. She's not wearing them right now, but she does still have the silver dragon mask. So she's got like the hood pulled up, like kind of over the horns in the back and stuff like that. But she's still got the horn or like the little like snoot of the dragon mask sticking out. And it catches a torchlight. You guys are immediately discovered. Um. <laughs> well, <laughs> worth Matt it. bad for wanting to be fashionable. <laughs> worth it. Abort. <laughs> nope. You guys. Run away. You guys set off on your dinghy, and the wheels of this operation begin to turn. All right, guys, it's uh, it's just us. We've got, I don't know, an hour till we get to shore, and then we've got to set up and and, and wait for the explosions, I suppose. Mm-hmm. I wonder. So the man inside has communication. He's going to meet us soon after the explosions should we prepare anything in the meantime i mean we can get our stuff out like weapons and shit yeah i, I just mean a little bigger do we want to for for our own good we're the ones going in are there any contingencies uh-huh. we want to make for ourselves or, or if we get in a pickle that we say okay we've tried we get out how far are we willing to go to get this one person out, how how important are they exactly? Adrino is the uh, foremost scholar on the mainland. Her help is maybe the most important of the list that you guys have been been tackling. You're going to need that expertise and that knowledge. I'm told they're pretty important, the former scholar on the mainland. I think that the most important thing we'll need, Desk Song. So, um, you know, I'm not willing to die for them, for sure, but, um, you right. know, per- be maimed, wounded. Yeah, possibly. Well, if the Alliance gets you, you're dead anyway. But mm. Mm. They will not get you. We probably should have. Guaranteed. It. We, we probably should have asked this before, but why is she in there? I mean, she probably did something real bad. I mean, does the Alliance maybe just not like her? Maybe they just don't like the fact that she learned about the the mainland? Or did, does she do other things? Yeah, probably both, Oslo. Probably not the time to question whether we should rescue her or not on the dinghy heading there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's a little too late now. I mean, <laughs> but you know what? I like what your mind's <laughs> thinking. Um, I will say this, uh, my boy, um, Skytong, do you have any charming magic other than my face? I'm. I do not have any charming magic. Okay, great. So when it comes to combat and utility spells to like subdue gods, you're coming up nilch, is what I'm hearing. I, I can play tricks with the mind, but if they are clever at all, it would be very difficult. They are extremely aware of the surroundings, um, mm-hmm. but I, I can come up with something. As, as far as sneak attacks go, that will probably be our best bet. Um, I can do that. Seeing Make it seem like illusions of people walking to, you know, send them away. We, uh, we will try something. I have some things at my sleeve, perhaps. Sure. I just, I didn't want to be just throwing my uh, spell slots around um my my magical juices around and then um <laughs> n- and then burn myself out real quick if you had you, you could shoulder some of that load there buddy you i will share whatever load you need me to share 
<laughs> okay, good. Devin, didn't you take Liamon's tiny hut? <laughs> yes, but I got rid of it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, no, I just got hit, struck with a really funny but really bad idea of just like if shit goes south, we just hide in Liamon's tiny hut for eight hours and then run out. <laughs> I pictured these guards. It's such a bad idea, the though. The guards also never get tired, and so they're just like constantly swinging at this oh, thing from the outside damn. for eight hours. <laughs> just just <laughs> constantly. Dang. Stern, they'll stern. never rest inside there. <laughs> I, I vote well, we I do that I'm just so Jen has to find the noise <laughs> for eight hours. It's real time. Yeah. Just eight hours. Yeah. Damn, that's a long the ass episode. Ding, ding, ding. So, what do you guys want to do for the last moments of your life? Uh, <laughs> de- de- develop earplugs. From dimensional door, my way home. Hmm. I think most of this is going to be. On a way once we once we get inside once once that contact has let us in, we are very much on our own deciding what to do as we make our way through. It's just hoping to distract as many people as possible. And I think less combat. Yeah. Is better. Because it's going to wear us out too quick. Yes. Excellent. Cool. Good plan. Well, let's go. Let's uh. You guys get some rest, uh, and I guess once we get there, we all probably just need to rest as much as possible anyway, until the uh, fireworks start. So you guys... Oh, real quick, real quick. Um, Sky Song, if I remember correctly, one of the things we've like had in conversation at some point is you have the ability to push the wind real hard. Never, ever, ever think that... Throw, push using the wind to throw somebody off the edge of the cliffs is a bad idea. Just oh, so I we're on the same page. Killing people, I just don't want to get in a in a pickle with it. Like one on one, we'll be fine, but I don't want to be surrounded or chased because then that just decreases the odds of our success. For sure, I'm just saying, really good choice to blow someone off the edge of the the entire island, or you know, to the fiery doom, or a splat, either. Or. You got it, pal. So as you guys make landfall on your dinghy and kind of pull the ship up onto the wet sand, we see, we the viewer, we the listener, we the, not you guys in particular, we see rituals. We see hardened soldiers. We see scared kids. We see some pretty crazy alchemists go through whatever they think is going to make them safe, whatever they think is going to make them survive this night, whether it's kissing a necklace, whether it's remembering their mother's peach cobbler, whatever it is that's going to bring them comfort, they hold on to it. see Barnabas on the hope, and we see him grim. We see him, his hands shaking as he prepares to give the order. We see the ram smile. We see him hoisting a large war hammer. We see him eager, leaning at the bow of the ship as, as if he's gonna will himself forward in conflict. But they do make land. And you all, well, you see the fireworks. There are flashes of color and light, and there are screams, and there is very rapidly, almost too rapidly to be natural, there's a a green, acidic, acrid fog that is overtaking this island, and you smell it, and it, it burns slightly. And you know it's time. I have to add on something there because you were doing a real cool thing and I need to say it, it made me think of a real cool thing for Garrett. Before we make landfall in the, 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 the sand on the beach, Garrett puts his hands on his necklace where his wife and daughter's rings are and just like silently takes a moment to himself before they like hit beach fall. Like that's his center to gravity. Oh yeah. So we, we do that. We Everything goes off and, and that's my team. Oslo, Captain, go. Lead the way. Go, 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 go. Uh, Sky Song pulls a mask up over his nose. So it's like a black 
mask from covering his nose and mouth to match the rest. You know, of you can really outfit. just change your entire face. You don't. That's fine. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, but I don't and like you. I like he, this face. I change it <laughs> to become Garrett's face and look at him. Oh, that's that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Let's go. And then it's back in my face. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> so as you guys approach this gate, um, it slowly lifts. It's a, it's, it is a, a large uh, wooden structure and reinforced with steel, and it is mechanized in some way that you maybe don't fully comprehend as it begins to lift just two, three feet off the ground, and a guy in a guard uniform rolls under it and goes, Good luck! And starts running. <laughs> uh, Garrett rolls under the door. Same. You too. I walk under the door. I probably Crouch. run. You know, quickly run. Forward. But I don't even have to. I don't even have to duck. <laughs> and as you guys make it into uh, the actual walls themselves, almost on cue, you hear the cannons much louder than these uh, explosions that are, are leaning from the opposite side of the island. And the cannonballs rain down into this facility. Um, you hear shouting, shouting all around you as these guards are just clambering for any sort of control of the situation. You see them on the walls around you. You see them taking up defensive positions. You hear and feel their cannons as they're firing back this retort to the ships that are circling like sharks around this island. And it is chaos. A quick glimpse of your surroundings as you're able to, to take in what you're able. Uh, there appears to be a, a, a main building in front of you, uh, a, a large square building with a uh, with a, 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 uh, a roof, a pyramid-esque roof that comes to a point uh, that lies directly in front of you inside these exterior walls, uh, and you see guards. They're here in the main courtyard. They are beginning to secure the building. You see them running into the prison. Some are running out, some are running in uh, as they are, are beginning to, to make this facility secure. What do you do? Uh, there are guards like approaching like near us, essentially. They are, like, you see uh, on, on either side of you, there are these, uh, for better, lack of a better word because I don't have the word uh, it's like scaffolding it's like uh, st stairs that, mm. that lead up to the walls on, on what would be mm -hmm. your left and right side uh, east and west uh, that, that men are, are, are running women uh, guards are running up into to, to occupy this, this defensive position you also see folks heading towards the uh, the southern entrance uh, where, where there's been this landing party where they are taking uh, defensive actions to repel them and you also see uh, folks that are, and I should say, it, it, as chaotic as it is, especially for you, um, and the, just the, the sound and the noises and, and the, the sights before you, there is a method behind the madness. There is a function here. This is there's there's muscle memory kicking in for these individuals, and some of them, uh, you, you, if if you were to uh, look at this long enough, you would probably deduce that they are they. Like, trained to, to hold this facility to, to to react to the prisoners rather than the uh, the invaders can, can I determine what's providing a light source inside the walls yeah very easily so uh, there are uh, orbs set into the stone walls um, all around that, that hum with light so those are magic in nature they do appear to match. Or some technology. Or alchemical okay. or technological. Yeah, yeah. They're and not flames. Do the, they're not flames. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so we have a primary entrance that I can see with guards filing in and out that appears to lead to the next uh, block and or possibly like an entrance for guards. Not necessarily anything more, right? So, what, so what you have just come into is an exterior wall, mm -hmm. and then inside of right. that exterior wall is the actual building itself. So that that doorway would actually lead into the prison proper. 
where they would okay. actually hold prisoners. This, you are currently in an exterior courtyard. You look around, you see some, some various equipment, and you feel that this is probably where they go to get exercise. And this is just the, 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 the courtyard before you reach the exterior. But guards are going in and out of that main uh, entrance, right? So, so, like I said, you see them go in and, in and out, in and out, and then you, you hear some folks uh, that are that are kind of uh, shouting, trying to take control. It's like, All right, get, get where you need to go, 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 uh, and and they are making ready to secure this building to lock it down. Perfect. Um, so, real quick, uh, before I determine what I want to do. Um, you said there was like a scaffolding, a scaffolding like on these walls that they were using to climb, um, and there's some near us, some further away from us, like they're on the all, away they're, they're, from. They're equidistant to you as you came in through the northern entrance. They are on the uh, okay. east and west walls. Okay, so what I would like to do, um, because uh, well, thinking quickly, so, uh, we have to get in that door. Yes, everyone agreed. Good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, the west. I'm assuming west, but the furthest scaffolding away from us. Mm-hmm. I would like to cast create bonfire in like the center of that scaffolding, assuming it's wood. Uh, it, it it wasn't wood in my head. Um, I just like I said, I, I couldn't think of a better word and scaffolding. Uh, if it's not it like wood, then I'm not gonna try it. Like if it is, it, if it's not wood, like if it's like stone staircases leading up, there's, then I'm not. It, it is a combination of, of wood and metal. So there's definitely wood they could catch, but it's it, it is not a large wooden structure. Yeah, my goal here is distraction, not mass destruction. So I would like to cast bonfire, create bonfire on one of the wooden pieces and then use control flames to spread that five feet and start a good fire on the wood as a distraction. Um, you, uh, I, I'm doing a poor job of, of explaining the space to you. Uh, this, this is a very large complex. So like distance. Okay, so it's well over 60 feet. It's well over 60 feet. Oh, then I don't give a shit about it. We just need to head towards the entrance. You could, if, if you if you do like a zigzag, you could get within. Six no, I don't want to. I don't okay. want to be deeper into this thing. I want to go along the wall as necessary and then cut over and do a beeline for this door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. agreed. So you guys are just running full sprint to the door. I yeah, like stealth. Well, yeah, <laughs> Being, it is it is nighttime, correct? That's that's what I'm gathering. It's it like, is nighttime. Okay. Uh, and I assume. But I mean, we're in a prison, though, and it's under attack. They're going to have all lights up. Yes. So, it, so, so we're it not going to be in dim light. Yeah. It is, it is fully illuminated. Um, specifically, only Oslo, you, can, you could make a stealth check here because of your aspect of the moon. Mm-hmm. Uh, it will be with disadvantage because you are not just you're, you're not being stealthy. You're running. You're sprinting. Right. Right. That's fair. Uh, I still want to do. Okay. That is still a dirty 20. Nice. You think yourself. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, we rush across that door. Um, are any guards like coming out as we're heading in? There are no guards that are heading out as, as you're heading in. There are, um, as you guys approach the door, you can see on the left and right side, the door is being closed. It's like two cranks being operated, just fucking two guys giving it out of the can to, to close this large metal door. Uh, can I see those guys cranking? Yeah, as you get closer, you're able to see them. Oh, kind of on the- yeah. When I'm in range, create bonfire under the left guy's feet as I'm running up. Okay. Uh, I, just, I don't want him to stop cranking the door. <laughs> yeah, so you do that. You get as cantrip and you're within 60 feet. Um, and he uh, immediately, of course, uh, reacts to the swing and goes, oh, <laughs> like backs up. Um, does damage, right? Oh, he makes a dex save. So yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, he yeah, makes a dex save. There. And it's, I, rolled a th- I rolled a three if it hits. Uh, what's the DC? Uh, it's a 15. Fuck me. Um, 15, yeah. Oh, he rolled 15, is what I'm saying. 
Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's also the save DC. So he <laughs> takes no damage okay. as he runs. As he just kind of jumps out of the way. But, yeah, the, the other guy's still Yeah, but at least a door stops, yeah. He's like, oh, and he gets, he gets backed away from it. So the door is now moving markedly slower. Perfect. So, I mean, we continue to run through that door. That's our entrance, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys barrel through the door. Um, there are just these two guys here, but they, they, they I don't see them. Uh, create bonfire on the other guy's feet, right? Because I'm just trying to get them to move, and so we can move, keep moving. I don't want to stop and fight these guys. I'm just trying to distract them long enough okay. for me to make my next yes. left or right. So we're, we're going into, into some thematic combat here. Um, so what I will say is uh, you have already expended your thematic action in, the, in this brief moment of you guys charging the door uh, to create that bonfire. Star, Devin... Uh. I would be happy to uh, slide my way in there, spin around, and then just jump on the guy's face. <laughs> face hugger style. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Uh, make a. Pretty sure a gold ball is gonna pop out of his chest later. That's that's a grapple check. That's an athletics check. Uh, is it not? Could it not also be acrobatics? Only when you're defending. When you defend and and a a, a grapple, it is athletics or acrobatics. When you initiate a grapple, it is athletics. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dwayne. Nope, that's correct. Okay. It is at night, so it's a flat roll of 10. (laughs) Okay. He got an 18 on the die. We'll say he's good. Uh, He reacts and just, like, grabs on to you. So he's, like, holding you both hands at the waist as you... Claw his face. <laughs> this sounds familiar. <laughs> uh, hey, but if he's holding me, he's not holding the gate thing. That's true, Sky Song. But you guys are inside the gate now. You don't really care for clothes, but it's true. Sky Song. So there's two guys. One's got a got a face hugger on it. The other one is. He's just back. He, he's, he's holding. Well, yeah, one guy's holding the face hugger, uh, trying to fight for his life, and the other guy is he he is backed up into the room about ten feet, just to get away from the. So he's so where we come into the room, he's. For, I was going to kick him out of the door, but it seems like our yeah, he's, he's, the door. Yeah, there. exactly. He's okay. backed up into um, the room because there was a fire there. Okay, so uh, all I'm going to do is I want to pull out... No, actually, you know what? I'll try this instead. I actually do have a charm person. I'm going to try to charm person. Uh, he has to do make a, uh, a check. It is a 15 for that one. Yeah. Uh, one check? Sure. Uh, it's an eight on the die. We'll say it goes. Okay, and so all I want him to do uh, regards you as friendly when you spell any creature. So I get him for one hour until I do something that would make, you know, obviously that spell go away. Um, yeah, so I say help. And so I want we want to take that guy, and I, theoretically I want to push him, the one that she's on, and push him out the door and pull out a little off and have him crank the doors down. Well, that's a, that's a whole lot, you know. That's a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so your, your thing was charm person. Okay. So you so you, you do successfully charm this guy, and he kind of goes... Stops him from attacking oh, us. Hey. What's up? Good to see you again. It's been a while. Oslo, you are <laughs> in the arms of this man. In the arms um, of the man. <laughs> What's your AC? Fucking <laughs> 17. He, he does hit you. Uh, he's just gonna bop you once in the snout. Uh, I want to slap him in the face. Of, well, I I didn't say I drew any daggers. <laughs> could I draw daggers? Uh, yeah, you could. <laughs> uh, I'll fucking attack him. <laughs> or you could just slap at her face. He, he has just <laughs> punched you once in the nose. You take three points of bludgeon yeah. damage. He, he punched me in the nose, so he's gonna get stabbed. Uh, that's 16 plus numbers. That's 16 plus like 7, 20. That'll hit. 3. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that is not sneak attack. I'm not being sneaky right now. <laughs> but it is 7 damages to his face. Yeah, which he it kind of recoils as, as you just, you, your knife kind of drags across his cheekbone uh, and down to his chin. Um, and he, he, th- he throws you against the wall. Okay. He throws you against cool. the wall. Cool. He let me go. Um, can you describe this room to me? So the room that you... This is the first room we're going in? We're going real quick, uh, but uh, you take one point of bludgeoning damage as you hit the wall. Um, 
he, it is a a small, um, almost like um, like when you go into the courthouse and you gotta go through that little room as you go into the courthouse mm-hmm. where they have like the metal detector and shit. This is like a yeah. room that leads into a larger building. This is like j- just an entrance, a dedicated entrance. Like the atrium, I don't know, what's that called? Atrium or the foyer? Foyer, it could be a foyer. It was a foyer. Um, and so there's one entrance to here, right? There's not multiple doors? There, there There's the one door that leads, leads in from outside and there's yeah, one door further that leads in. further in. Okay. Uh, yeah, so while they're kerfuffling over there, um, just, um, Sky Song, can you get your, your your friend to unlock that door for us so we can keep moving? Got it. That door is and unlocked. So that's... Okay. Yeah. It's already unlocked, Good boss. job. Good job. Excellent. Uh, uh, Captain, any time now. Let's go. And she runs after you guys. <laughs> uh, okay. He continues to close the door behind you um, as you guys actually make fine. your way deeper into this building. You come uh, through this doorway and are immediately struck by your surroundings, uh, which are a multi-tiered um, cells full of criminals that you're kind of like staring in the face as you come these door, out these doors like... The, the 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 cages isn't the right word. The um, cells uh, are the cell bars are directly in front of you, um, maybe 20, 30 feet out. So it's like one of those huge like rooms you walk in, and it's just like layer yeah. on rows like layer. On like just, rows, yeah, yeah. And you Stacks see uh, these these guards that are. Uh, like against the the cells, you know, like banging on 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 the bars, um, trying to get these these prisoners to to stop their rioting effectively. Uh, when you are noticed, and you hear a man shout, "Take aim behind us!" That's what we're on this episode. But <laughs> good, good ending. So hey, uh, if you want to support the show, uh, what I can say is you can go to store.wafflestupid.org and I cannot stress enough, um, you know, while supplies last, while uh, get Oslo stickers while Oslo's still alive. <laughs> um, so just keep in mind, that's important. Um, and, you know, get, get your campaign two shirts because campaign two might end here. Who knows? Right? Three people just went into the belly of the beast. Perry lives her life with the pirates forever. Um, so we could see campaign three starting in like a month or two, depending on how this goes. So uh, Perry got out the best of us, man. Well, I don't know. Who knows what pirate she's with? Like, she could be mm. on pirates of the sea, but not the actual sea. So that could be a problem. Um, so store.awfulstupid.org. It's a Galavant reference. I'm sorry you don't get it. <laughs> oh, oh no. I'm, okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do our roll for humanity. And uh, this month, again, because I didn't pay attention, we're still going to give our monies to Wounded Warrior Project. They deserve it. And so today's Never roll a is thing. a... That's a 16. It's going to the Wounded Warrior Project. If you Ooh, want to donate, nice. you can find the link in this episode uh, in the description. Um, please do. Uh, and also, and speaking of monies, you can also uh, help us out by uh, being a patron. Uh, I still feel like I've been thrust upon this, even though I've done this like three times now, and I still have nothing prepared, but you should be our patron uh, because you get all kinds of hours of uh, bonus content. Uh, you get... Um, you can be a part of our crew. Cool merch. Yeah, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, <laughs> As it turns out, if you have a guest episode with us, we just adopt you apparently um because we need crew guys please help us um or uh, alternatively if campaign two does end here then you get to be a guest in the next campaign who knows um come and be a patron and Devin's, and Devin's 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 money. we need your money <laughs> pray please come back this is very hard i appreciate everything you do uh but also join the discord <laughs> come and join our discord come and join our discord we'll be waiting, we'll be waiting, we'll be waiting, waiting for you, for you. <laughs> Uh, it is it is my uh, task uh, to tell you uh, to rate and review the show on, on iTunes or wherever it is you get your podcast. If they don't accept uh, ratings or reviews, just email and be like, hey, you know, awful stupid. I like them. Pretty good. 
pretty good show. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, uh, please. Good stuff. Tweet about the show uh, using the hashtag StupidCast. If you do, I'll sing your praises right here in the recording. And I will leave you with a question to grow on. And that question is... Why do they call the sex talk birds and the bees? Do birds and bees argue to be fucking like crazy? Why is it called birds and bees? I was just start asking questions that I want to know the answer to. Be fucking. Yeah. <laughs> we love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.